Texas Prison Story Family Salute. Y'all, it's your boy Tim Snow back here with another one. And uh, this one's on a little bit of prison history right here. Shout out to a convict's perspective. They inspired me to do a video the other day talking about Texas inmates in California. And I explained in that video why there was such an influx of Texas people in their prisons, because there were Texas people in their states at the time. But there's never really been talk about a California man or a prison gang member from there doing anything in Texas. So I decided I would look that up today while I had a little bit of time. And we definitely found one here. It's a California brand member. Served time living out there with Barry Mills in San Quentin in the Max Block. So I have to take it he was the truth. Came down to Texas and created a little havoc, too. It says, James Michael Brittle wears the swastika and lightning bolt tattoo on his left forearm that is a characteristic of the Aryan Brotherhood, a white supremacy group that operates within the prison system. Brittle also admits to knowing convicted murderer Barry Mills, 33 years old, reputed commissioner of the Brotherhood. Beyond that, Brittle is silent. Listen to me. I don't fear the death penalty hanging over me, the 27-year-old Brittle said from his death row cell at Texas Department of Corrections Ellis Unit. But I do fear a piece of steel in my belly. Let's not talk about the Brotherhood. Brittle, convicted in the rope strangulation of Bob Banks of Houston in 1980, said he knew Mills when the two inmates were surviving, were serving time at San Quentin Prison in California. I was in Max B block at Quentin where the families were segregated, the Brotherhood, the Mexican Mafia and others, Brittle said. Bill Hankins, an agent of the state security unit in the California prison system, said the Aryan Brotherhood originated during the 1960s prison strife. He said its membership includes Nazi oriented prisoners who banded together to protect themselves from black and Hispanic militants. Rob McCaskill, an assistant TDC director, said there have been several Brotherhood members in the Texas prison system. They all had served previous time in San Quentin, Folsom, and other prisons in California and had those swastika and SS lightning bolt tattoos, McCaskill said. McCaskill said he did not know if Brittle was an official member of the Aryan Brotherhood. Of course, he didn't because he didn't tell you. Atlanta FBI agent. Jim Procopio, whose investigation helped convict Barry Mills last year in the death of another inmate, said secrecy is a trademark of the group. The Brotherhood is the best or is the best organized of prison groups and kills them and their members are stone cold killers, Procopio said. They are the best argument I know for the death penalty. Brittle's court appointed attorney Al Thomas said his client radiates a frightening aura of power. What you've got to understand about Brittle is the sense of menace he projects. Most of the time, he keeps himself under control, extremely polite and courteous. But when he gets excited or emotional, he has a tendency to swell up. Uh, and I mean that literally. His neck bulges, his chest expands. He appears twice as big as he normally is, like a cobra swelling before a strike. If he walked into this room right now, seated himself at a nearby table and focused attention on me, I'd leave, he said. So here we have... Uh, Brief interview and a little bit of rundown of James Michael Brittle. I said he was a pretty imposing character, which I think most of the members were. Got caught up in a murder in Houston, Texas, now on death row. Back then, the Texas death row was similar to how it was in California or is in California where the guys got to spend time in so-called general population. The other inmates will be death row inmates also. And it was ran like that for quite some time. Violence, attempted escapes and other things stopped it to where the death row inmates now are in 24 seven lockdown. But this obviously happened, you know, when it was the old days, but this article is the same James Michael Brittle from California here, putting in work in Texas. And I'll tell you what, it's uh, it's a doozy. So this would be from 1984 right here. The first one was 82. A death row inmate was seriously burned Wednesday when a flammable liquid was thrown on his legs and matches and a homemade bomb tossed into his cell, authorities said. 
the bomb, which did not explode, added a new twist to months of violence in the Texas prison system. This year, more than 280 inmates have been stabbed, 13 fatally. Calvin J. Williams, 24, a black man condemned for the 1980 murder of a Houston travel agent, was flown to the Texas Department of Corrections LS1 unit near Huntsville to Galveston's John Seeley Hospital for treatment. Two white death row inmates were put in isolation pending questioning. Williams, who was listed in stable condition Wednesday afternoon, suffered burns over most of his body. It was the second attack on Williams in the past 17 months. Guthrie identified the inmates awaiting questioning by Walker County authorities as Warren Eugene Bridge and James Michael Brittle. Bridge, a Georgia drifter, faces death row for the February 10th, 1980 slaying of a 62-year-old Galveston convenience store clerk. Brittle from California was sentenced to die for the February 24, 1980 killing of a Houston man. Brittle has a history of membership in the white supremacist gang known as the Aryan Brotherhood and wears the swastika and lightning bolt tattoos of the group. Prison officials said they believe the 8 a.m. bombing occurred as Williams was in his bunk. Texas Governor Mark White, speaking at an Austin News Conference Wednesday, said the new round of violence within TDC could be an offshoot of the changes being made in the system. I continue to be concerned about the violence within our prison system. I think that what we were seeing occur is a readjustment on both the part of the inmate and the caretakers, the prison officials trying to establish the new rules, the new guidelines. Ellis Warden Marshall Hercots said flammable industrial cleaner was thrown on Williams' legs and matches thrown into the cell. The bomb, about the size of a soft can drink and equipped with a fuse at one end, was removed from the cell by prison guards and later detonated in the prison yard by officials. There were no reports of further injuries. Prison spokesman Charles Brown said operations at the prison were normal except the yard, except in the yard where the area was cleared of inmates. Prison officials were uncertain what triggered the incident. The initial speculation is that Williams had some personal animosity between the suspects. Williams himself convicted of the June 1980 strangulation of Emily Anderson, 28, was stabbed April 20th, 1983, after refusing the homosexual advances of another death row convict. Brittle, who has served two terms at San Quentin Prison in California, was linked at his Houston trial to mass killer Charles Manson. According to one of his former attorney, Al Thomas, if he walked into this room right now, seated himself at a nearby table and focused attention on me, I'd leave. He's that scary. So there he goes. Brand member in Texas, documented. Still putting in work down here because death row was a dangerous place back then. Got to give credit where credit's due.